today for the Bitcoin and crypto prices. And yes, guys, you read the title right. I am selling my Bitcoin for these specific altcoins. Let's talk about it. I want to go straight into the charts, talk about my multi-million US dollar trade on Bitcoin Ethereum, where we are at, what the price targets are, but most importantly, what altcoins am I personally looking at right now in the immediate short term? Let's talk about it. And dear ladies and gentlemen, smash up the like button as you have never smashed up the freaking like button before. Make noise for the algorithm if you are part of the MM Crypto family. If you want more of these videos, I need your feedback here. I need noise on the YouTube algorithm. And then I will continue and make more and more videos for you. Let's go straight to it. And dear ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you remember, but I was posting seven months ago in May about ordinals that high risk I'm investing where the market cap was still at 103 million US dollars for the BRC20 tokens. Now the market cap is at 3 billion US dollars. If you had invested back then on average, you would have made a return of 30x. Now the question is, is it already over? Are there other altcoins we are looking at? First of all, let's start with Bitcoin and then let's go over into it. I want to urge you, I want to incentivize you to watch this video until the very end where I'm going to unveil everything you want to know after clicking that video here. Now we are talking about Bitcoin and here we are on the weekly candles, uh, actually on the Bitcoin dominance. And what you can see here basically, just quickly, is I don't think the rise of the Bitcoin market cap is over. The rise of the Bitcoin dominance is not over yet. That doesn't mean that altcoins are not going to explode. I mean, I am in altcoins. I am continuously, actually right now even, going to scale up more on altcoins as well. But the real altcoin season has not started yet. The Bitcoin season is not over yet. Actually, we have a target of 60 to 62 percent for the Bitcoin dominance. That means that there is still more upside for Bitcoin. Yes, there is still more upside for altcoins as well. And altcoins are most likely, of course, we are going to see a big retracement, a big correction, I think within the next few weeks. It's almost a certainty it has to happen. Nevertheless, there's a lot more upside for Bitcoin. There is a lot more upside for altcoins as well. However, the real full-blown altcoin season has not started yet. I think it is going to start sometime after we reach 60 to 62%. That will be the moment I go crazy on altcoins. But for now, I, that doesn't mean that I'm not going in altcoins at all. It just means I want to be a little bit more cautious with my approach with altcoins. First of all, of course, Bitcoin is still beautiful, right? Bitcoin is still bullish. And uh, even though we are probably expecting some kind of retracement anytime soon, we're still bullish on Bitcoin. Higher highs, higher lows. My Bitcoin long trade is 3.2 million US dollars in a profit. My Ethereum long trade is 330, 340,000 US dollars in a profit. We are talking about approximately 3.5 million US dollars in profits on both of these trades. Now the question is, how high can Bitcoin go before we are going to see the retracement? And of course, for all you altcoin holders, when, when am I finally going to talk about the altcoins? Hold on for a second. So first of all, we can see here Bitcoin is still consolidating here for a few days now in a row while altcoins are going higher. Of course, that is a beautiful thing. I want to tell you for sure, like, let me quickly show you. Bitcoin is calling up right now in this ascending triangle and most likely within that year until Sylvester, until the 31st of December, right here, we are going to see a, a decision. If we are breaking this one towards the upside, the price target, dear ladies and gentlemen, and here I want to urge you to be very careful because as I said, the retracement is due. We are going to retrace anytime soon. It, this price target tells us like 49, close to 50,000. I personally had my best case scenario for Bitcoin floating somewhere around the Fibonacci um, golden pocket, 48,000. I want to stick with that. 
I don't think we are going to see anything higher than 48,000 within that year. That is something I've been predicting for weeks since Bitcoin was below 30,000. 48,000 is my best case scenario. If we are breaking lower, I could well imagine Bitcoin to go for another retest of the 38,000 to 40,000 US dollar price areas. That is it so far for that. And I want to know from you, have you been following me over on Twitter when I was talking about ordinals back then? Well, if you have, you made some significant gains. I am still holding my ordinals actually right now, round about 3 million US dollars on my ordinal or the position alone. Of course, I have other ordinals as well. When it comes to altcoins, I am scaling throughout every single bull market always step by step more and more into altcoins. But I still have the majority of my position in Bitcoin. This will only change when the Bitcoin season ends and the altcoin season will start. When this is happening, I will update you on that channel. So you need to be subscribed. Press the subscribe button, press the bell and press on all. Until then, I am scaling up my current positions. I'm not going to scale up more on ordinals, on Audi, because I'm holding already more than 3 million US dollars on that. Aptos, Sui, some of these projects I am still looking into. I made, I'm, I'm still scaling up. I'm holding them already, specifically Aptos. I'm holding a, a quite significant portion. Uh, I'm looking for Multiverse X, Elrond, uh, of course, other projects like Cardano and so on. If you're looking at it, all of these altcoins are going to pump and everyone will feel like a genius, right? Most of these bigger altcoins are approximately 5x away from their all time high which is XRP, 5x away from the all-time high. Cardano, 5x away on, on, from the all-time high. The, the market's just moving in synchronicity. Sometimes these altcoins are pumping, then they retrace and the other ones are pumping. So it doesn't really matter where you're shooting at, as long as it's one of these legitimate altcoins, Polkadot, Solana, Cardano, XRP, all of these projects are going to make some, at least decent gains. When you want to make crazy gains, of course, that is when you have to go a higher risk. That is what I did with ordinals, of course. I went quite high risk. And that is, of course, what I am going to continuously do with uh, BRC20 tokens, which uh, you can see, of course, we have many of them. Sets, Audi, Multibit. It's like, let's just be honest, guys. It's shit coins. Nothing goes over Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the real deal. But if you want to go and, of course, potentially make significant gains, you will have to trade your precious Bitcoin for shit coins, risking to lose everything. I have to tell you how it is. And only then you can potentially either lose everything or make 10, 20, 30 X as we've been making it in the last seven months for Bitcoin. So I want to make a new video soon with my top five holdings on altcoins where I specifically tell you exactly what altcoins I am holding. If you want that, like this video to a new all time high and I will upload a specific video just for altcoins for you. Thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas to everyone. I truly wish and appreciate, truly appreciate every single one of you. And I wish you a Merry Christmas, a beautiful celebration with your family. And of course, a Happy New Year very soon. We are going to see you very soon at the next one of Amazon Crypto. And as always, guys, as always, bye, bye.